Welcome back, you guys. Today, we're going to be installing the Optimize Builder on your website. Um, but I want to show you how this Optimize Press dashboard works. Um, I want you to go to my.optimizepress.com so that you can log in. Once you've logged into your account, it's going to look like this, okay? It may take you straight to your dashboard, but I need you to go to this Get Started tab up here because that's where you're going to be working from to build your, your website, okay? And so with this, I don't, I don't believe in recre recreating a really good thing when it's already there. So what you need to do is go to my.optimizepress.com. This is the training area to teach you how to use your website, you guys. It's already created for you. There are already tons of videos that walk you step by step, literally step one, step two, step three. And it's going to show you how to build your website, okay? And so once you get to get started, watch step one if you have not already, okay? Step two is what we've already done. We've downloaded and installed your dashboard plugin, okay? Now we have to activate this plugin. And so that's what we're doing on step three. So you will click step three. And of course, there are many, many videos within this step three. But when you click on this, wow. When you click on this, it brings this down, okay? And then you're going to hit build your website. That's going to take you to this page. I highly suggest watching this video, okay? It's how to use Optimize Builder. Optimize Builder is the actual builder for your pages on your website. So this video teaches you how to use that, how to edit anything on your templates and all of those things and how to save your pages, okay? But first, in order to even do any of this stuff that it's talking about in this video, we first have to install and activate Optimize Builder plugin. So let's go to that step. Now in here, this is not a video, but it says it's a video, um, but they're just giving you a play-by-play -play of what this, what you're supposed to do. So what you're gonna do, because there's no video, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through this step, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to go to Bluehost, okay? You're going to log into your to your your website. So you'll go to whatever your domain name was. So in this case, it's jamiepew.com. And then you're going to do backslash wp-admin, okay? And then hit in your in your URL bar, put that in. And then it's going to bring up your WordPress login log into your website, okay, as the admin. Now, once you have done that, you're going to come over here and hit Optimize Press. This is that dashboard that we installed in the previous video, okay? So go over here and hit this. Once the page loads, it's going to look like this. Now you may have some, some pop-ups and things come up at the top, but look for this little rocket launch thing that is that says that it which is Optimize Press's brand. And it should say license your site. Okay. For some reason, Jamie's has disconnected. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit connect. And we're gonna log her in to get this back connected. So whatever she logged in with, with Optimize Press. So all these, all these emails should be the same across the board for how you're logging in to certain things. You should sign up with the same accounts, you guys. Okay, so Jamie Pugh, coaching at gmail.com. Then log into her account. Okay, I'm gonna log her in. So this will connect to her Bluehost account. Give that a second to do its thing. No, I don't wanna save her information. Okay, authorization request. Yes, we want to authorize this so that it will connect with her, her business account, her website account, I'm sorry. 
get my wording right this morning. Okay, now, as you can see, this is what has popped up. Your hosting does not meet the recommended requirements for optimized press. You may experience some issues with creating or saving pages. Please check the site status screen and follow the re recommendations to fix the issues. So obviously you're going to go here and fix this. Most of the time, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go over to Bluehost. Okay. So you would open up a new screen and go to bluehost.com. And then again, you're going to log in there and then you're going to want to connect to their customer support. Okay. And once you've clicked this, I'll just go ahead and go to this so that you guys can can tech this. I see it. So right here is the things that we need. Okay, she needs to her word WordPress memory limit is lower than the two hundred fifty six megabytes. Okay, so this is this is the part that we need to go to Bluehost about. And I've even had to do this on mine. Um, Bluehost wants to know if we're a human. So we're gonna go ahead and verify that we're a human. We're gonna hit log in here. We're gonna log Jamie in. And now we're gonna go up here to where it has the question mark. We're gonna to go to chat. Okay, so we're, we're just gonna to have to connect with Bluehost is what we're gonna do. We're gonna to have to chat with their customer service and tell them we need to increase the WP memory to 256 megabytes for our, our website theme to fun function properly. Okay, so once you hit chat, well, I'm hitting chat and it's not doing anything. Let's go down here where it says support and hit chat here. For some reason, their link is not working, it's broken. So now it's taking us back over here again. Okay, let's hit the visit contact page. Let's see if this will work. They've got some broken links on their website. Okay, let's try chat now. Okay, and so what Jamie's going to have to do, because they're going to send her an email with a code in it, I'm not going to be able to do this for her. Um, but you're going to put your first name in and your last name here, okay? You'll put your domain in. So in Jamie's case, this will be jamiefew.com. And then you'll hit next. That's going to connect you. But then once you get in that chat, they're going to ask you to verify a code um, based on, on your email probably or, or your phone number. I'm, I'm not sure which. Um, but then they're going to ask for that code. You're going to have to verify that code for them to support you. It's just like any other customer service agency out there. Um, they need to verify that it's you that they're speaking with. So then that that chat will go on. But what you need to do is chat with them. And then when they come on there and it asks you what the issue is, tell them that your WordPress memory limit is lower than the recommended 256 megabytes and you need it to be increased. Okay. And then that will get this, um, this, this fixed. They will fix that for you. Okay. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow your your website to run faster. And when your pages load and things like that, it's going to load a lot faster, which is what you want because you want your things to pop up and for people to be able to see what's on your website and not have missing things happening on your website when people are going to your website, right? We don't want that to take a long time to load. And so that's exactly what, what this is talking about. Okay, now back to what we were doing. I'm gonna get out of this. I will fix that for Jamie here in a little bit. We will work together on that to get that fixed. Okay. Now we're back to here. Okay. So once you get that resolved, come back to Optimize Press Dashboard. Okay. We've got her license. It's valid. 
okay? And so you can see that it expires next year. Now, down here, what we wanna do is optimize builder. What we're looking to do, if we go back over here, it says, go to optimize press builder, hit install, and then activate, okay? So that's what exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna find optimize builder, we're gonna hit install, give it a second, then it's gonna say activate. And it may take it a second. Okay, plugin installed. See down here. It's gonna change the page again. It's gonna say activate, and we're gonna activate it. Now, as you can see, that now gave us the option to create a new page, okay? And that's what we want. We want to be able to create pages on our website. Now, the, ne the next thing that this is going to teach you to do, okay? So once you're done here, you're gonna hit the back button. Okay, we've done that one. You can create your first page with Optimize Builder, Optimize Builder templates overview using layouts. This is gonna teach you how to use everything, okay? Go through all of those. It's gonna teach you how to use your website. Now, what I need next is go back to your dashboard, okay? And what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to install all these other ones. And I'm, I'm not sure why this is not taking us through all the steps. So I guess it's a good thing that we are walking through this together. Okay, so come back to your blue, your actual WordPress website. All of these have to be activated, you guys. So your funnels have to be activated and you just need to do them one by one. I know it's time consuming, but it doesn't honestly take that long. Install them one by one, go ahead and activate them. This is gonna give you the ability to use your funnels over here in your dashboard. Okay. So now you have funnels on here. That gives you your, your tab for that. Right here, your smart three. This has to be installed. This is what allows people to see your website from the outside looking in. Okay. This is what actually allows them to see it. It's the actual theme for your website. So we definitely have to install this one. Okay. This is going to ask this will deactivate your current active WordPress theme. Yes. We absolutely want to deactivate the one we have and activate this one. Okay. Now, this, okay, so now what this has done is, is it's automatically took us to appearance and themes. All these themes are currently what's available to Jamie to use, but here's the deal. We only want this one. All these other ones give us, give hackers the ability to have back, back doors into our, our website. And we definitely don't want that. We want to limit their ability to, to, to have any access to our website. So what we wanna do here is we wanna just click on these other ones. So I've clicked on this one. If you see down here in the bottom, it says delete. We wanna go in and delete all these extra ones. The only one we want to keep is the smart theme, okay? Smart, this one right here, optimize press, smart theme V3. That's the one we keep. That's the one that's activated currently. So just go into all these others and hit delete and get rid of those. 
You can absolutely, you know, hit add new theme and go find another one you like if ever you stop using Optimize Press. But honestly, once you've used it and you have used these before, once you try these and then you try Optimize Press, there is no going back because you're not going to like how these other ones operate and how they, how, how much more time consuming and things that they are. So we've gotten rid of these. So now all we should have is the smart theme, okay? And this is what it should look like on appearance and themes now. You have your smart theme, okay? Now, again, we wanna go back to our Optimize Press dashboard because we didn't get done installing everything. Okay. Okay, we've got our funnels, we've got our theme. Now we need our checkouts. We're gonna have products to sell. We definitely want to have a checkout so that people can use our website to buy and purchase our products and services. Okay, it is installed. Again, we're gonna probably have to activate that. And we do. And we're just going to keep going. Okay. Optimize urgency. This is where you grow your list and boost sales with social trust. Definitely want that. And then the same thing with optimize mentor. This creates and protects your course content and membership areas with Optimize Mentor. It's definitely something we want. They don't, oh, that has brought us over here to our plugins. Why? Because we just, I'm not sure why this brought us over here. We would need to go back to our dashboard. Oh, not that dashboard. We want to go to Optimize Press dashboard. Let that load. Then we're going back down here. Optimize Mentor. We want to go ahead and install that as well. and then activate it. When I very first started using Optimize Press, it was not easy. There were just, wasn't buttons here. You actually had to do a little bit of code. So this is really nice. Let's get that activated and see where it takes us once it activates that. Okay, brought us back to the dashboard. All right, and now we have everything activated and we are now able to over here, go through and create your first page and do all these other things with your, your website and actually build out your website. So I don't need Bluehost anymore. Um, what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and create your first page together. Okay, so now that you have everything set up, it's now time to, so if you look over here, if you look over here, you have Optimize Press, but then you have your funnels, your checkouts, Mentor, Feedback, Urgency, and WP Forms, okay? So all of these are elements of Optimize Press. So this is now how you control your website. Everything you need is located right here. When you go to checkouts, you can literally add your new products. Okay. 
So obviously right here, um, we're going to have to go through the setup of all of this. We're going to do that in a new video. Um, but this is where you will add your products at. Funnels, this is literally the dashboard for your funnels. Each one, each individual one has its own dashboard. And so this is the back end office, just as if you were going into a, a physical brick and mortar location. They have different departments of their business, right? And so there are different offices within that building that makes that business function. That's what you have right here. This is your brick and mortar, basically, of your business. And all of these tabs right here of Optimize Press are the different departments within your company, okay? So that's an easy way to think about it, to know the analogy of, okay, what's, what is happening, okay? And again, I went under the funnels to the funnel dashboard and you can literally create your first funnel. What is a funnel? This is where you have an opt-in page or a landing page, and then it takes them to a sales page or a training page and a sales page. And then it takes you to the checkout. So it's all of those, the, the whole funnel, your whole sales funnel combined to create um, the funnel for your clients, okay? So what we want to do now is we want to create Jamie's homepage. So what we're going to do is optimize press, create new page. I want to show you guys how to do, do this. Um, when you're over here in optimize press, Okay, build your website, which is what we're here. Optimize, how to use Optimize Builder, okay? We're gonna create the first page. So if you go here, this is the actions that we are taking right now, okay? And you can watch this video and they will walk you through how to do this, okay? And then they even have the, the physical form showing you what to do. And I'll give you a rundown of this really quickly as well. So we've hit Optimize Press, we've had, hit Create New Page, okay? Now in here, if you, if you watch that video that I showed you, it's already told you what, what these are, but these are collections, okay? These are different types of themes that you can use on your website to grow, to, to have templates for your business, okay? Based on these, like this one is like more of a membership style. Um, you have a personal brand one. You gotta find the one that you like, okay? And go based on that, okay? Um, but just look through these and see which ones that are designed the way that you like and what you're looking for and what best fits your niche because there are different ones for different things, okay? Th that's why I love Optimize Press so much because they have just about everything that you can possibly think of. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to get with Jamie. I'm going to see which, which ones of these she likes the best. And we're going to start editing from there because what happens is when you go into these, so I'm just going to go into this one, for example, if you go into Quill, I've used this one quite a lot. I've used Glow a lot and I've used Local a lot. Um, so when you hit view collection, you can see that there's thank you pages, registration pages, uh, landing pages, sales pages, thank you pages, you know, services, homepage, resources, all your pages are basically here, okay? And so you got to like figure out what one you're needing. So right now we're creating a homepage. And so we would go to the homepage and they have two options here that you can choose from. Um, and when you hover over it, it literally shows you what it looks like. And you just figure out which one you like the best. Okay. And then you would hit use this template. And then it's going to, when we say use this template, you put in the title of the page. So in this case, it's going to be our homepage. So you're going to type home. Okay, and then you're going to hit create page and I'll just delete this one but because I, I want to show you how this works, but you're going to create that home page. Give it a second. It's going to take you to your pages. So how do you access this right here where it says pages? It's creating a page on your website. Okay, it's creating your home page. 
So once we give it a second to do its thing and load, it's going to take us to the pages tab. See, down here, it's showing us the page that we have. And then it's going to take us in to edit with Optimize Press. Okay, and that's what this blue screen is. It lets you know that Optimize Press is opening up. Give it a second to load. And now we have what is our home page. Of course, we're going to have to replace this logo with whatever our logo is. We're going to have to change the colors. So when you click this section, if pink is not your color, you're going to come in here and hit this window. Okay. You can see right here it's pink. We want to change that color. So Jamie's colors are black, white, and gold. Okay, so we're going to figure out what she wants. Okay, and then we're going to we're going to design from there. We're going to replace pictures with Jamie's pictures. And then in here, we're going to edit, you know, to to suit to fit Jamie's business. Okay, um, up here. This says that there's a menu there, but you're going to have to create your menu before it can be there in order to create your menu you have to build out your pages, okay? You have to build out your pages first. So we gotta get the, the pages built. So right now we have the home page. So when you go in here and edit all these things out, edit them to what you want them to be, okay? You're just clicking on them. It's super easy and you just change it. So in this case, my name is not Kelly Anderson. We're, her name is Jamie, okay? It's as simple as that. And then you just put in the information about her, okay? Again, back, forward, and it teaches you all of this in that in that video in your Optimize Press dashboard. When you go here, build your website, it teaches you all of how to edit your pages right here, how to use Optimize Builder. It's going to take you through and walk you through every bit of that. These are going to do the same thing one by one. They're going to teach you how to use your website. Okay. When you're done and you've got it the way you want, hit save. And then you're going to close the live editor. Once this is done, it'll give you a check mark. Or it goes back to saying save. And then you're going to, we just saved it. So yes. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to delete the page. Um, because that's not the one that she's going to use. So here's your page, okay? And then once you're ready for it, you can hit publish, okay? And that will publish your page. Um, down here, right here, this is your Yoast, okay? Yoast SEO. You want to put your, your key phrase in there, okay? What is that keyword for that, that page, okay? And then, of course, you would want to put Jamie Pugh, okay, because that's that's what people are going to be searching for on Google, uh, on Google, get my words out this morning. So we'd put Jamie Pugh in there. Um, of course, the slug, okay, and the meta description, what is this page about, okay, this is what's going to show up right here when, so this is an example of what comes up on Google home, Jamie Pugh coaching. So, and then please provide a meta description. This is what is right here. Okay, guys. And you want it to be a happy face. Okay. And then hit publish and then your page is published and people can actually then start going to that page and the link for that, you can edit that right here. Okay. HTTPS jamiepugh.com slash home. And like, once we set this as her homepage, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Appearance, nope, not appearance. Settings, where's the settings? Settings, general. Now that we have her homepage created, oh, nope, it's writing, maybe reading. Sorry, you guys. 
It's reading. Because people are reading, how are they going to read it? Okay. Yeah, right here. You go to settings, reading, and then right here where it says home page, which you have to publish that page first for this to this drop down box to work. But once we publish that page, you can select that as your home page here. And when you go back to pages, you have your home page. Okay. And so when you go in to edit this right here, once you've hit publish, you can set it up in settings settings, reading, and then the home part of this is going to come off of this. And then whenever you go to jamiepew.com, it's just automatically going to take you to the homepage. And when you send somebody to your website, you would just say jamiepew.com. This home is no longer going to be on there. Once you set it as your homepage under settings, reading, and then under that little drop down box, pick your home and then this disappears and it's just jamiepew.com. Okay, you guys, there is a lot to learn, I know, but I'm telling you like this is the best option professionally for your business and all of this is learnable. It is a learning experience, you guys. Take time, look through things, figure things out, get, get um, familiar with the things in here because you're going to be using it a lot for your business, okay? Um, it's just a skill that has to be acquired when running a professional business, okay? Or you can obviously delegate this out, hire team members, and have them do all of this for you. We definitely, in our um, yearly mastermind, we we have an option to um, do done for you services for you, depending on which, which level you get into the mastermind at. So if you're like, oh my gosh, this is just too much. And I want you to build my website, Danielle, check out the mastermind option. Okay. All right, you guys. So this sums up this training and we will, I'll teach you how to set up your checkouts and all those things in the future videos. All right. I will talk to you soon.